Turn off. Okay. Um, this, I bought it. You can see it. Doesn't work. Won't stream. I don't know why. And this one's already fucking up and freezing and stuff. I have so much to say. I'm wearing my Epstein shirt, client list on the back, all that. Um, you know, my tech guys both live in Scandinavia because Americans are fucking incompetent. I can't find one person out of 300 million to you know get up in the morning or whatever to help with this shit i'm so pissed off i hate the tech shit i hate it with passion i can't concentrate on research and stuff i'm like well i don't know if that'll work with the audio blah, 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 blah. kgb josh 20 welcome back dawson yeah i'm not back i bought i spent like a thousand one hundred dollars on this piece of shit and go to restream doesn't play the fucking video this is why I hate laptops. I knew that. I'm like, no, no, no laptops. No, they suck. Oh, the new ones are good. No, the new ones are better than the shitty ones before that. It's still shit. It's a laptop. Welcome back, Dawson. Will 2024 be an expensive offensive campaign against those Zio cocksuckers? No, it's just more Zio cocksucking. Emil Young, 20. Welcome back, sir. Thank you. P1 Dizzy, the 110. Happy New Year, Ryan. Not a total waste. If you want to unlock membership only content, go to ancreport.com, become a peasant, an artisan, a knight, a paladin, or a rainbow frog, and help support us. Yeah. I have this cool video with the calendars and all this stuff. It doesn't work. I stayed up last night. It just, man, I was so excited. I'm like, wow, they'll actually be able to see. It has like a real, it's not broken, it'll like stream for real. It's got a real camera and everything. Doesn't matter. It didn't work. That shit's getting returned today. I still won't be able to stream. I'm surprised this stream has lasted as long as it has. Usually this computer freezes and dies. So I'm afraid to show you clips because it, it'll kill the stream. But uh, so much fucking news has happened. The Israel's assassinations in Lebanon. Somebody bombed Iran killed 83 people that you know it said it was isis uh-huh oh yeah yeah you set bombs off at iran at soleimani's uh basically funeral anniversary but you couldn't attack syria which is wiping you out right next to you huh hmm the israelis are getting their come up and so i'm gonna play this video for you while i blow off steam because i'm so fucking mad i'm so mad i Fuck Korea and their mail system, for one. I ordered shit back in November. It came all the way here, went all the way back. Came all the way here again. 
No call, nothing. Christmas presents didn't arrive till yesterday. Also sent in November. Fucking custom systems make me. This is why they need to be occupied by Japan. Get their shit together. All right. <laughs> Not really. But, uh, here, here's something I had prepared. Most of you didn't see it. And uh, I'll be right back. Not this one. Oh my God. Come on. I've, I had so much to say about the document dump on Epstein and stuff. I'm so flustered right now that this bullshit didn't work. I can't think. I'm, so, I'm just, all I see is red. I don't even want to do this. Here's the diaper assholes that got their comeuppance. You can see this. A few days ago, I posted some pictures of Israeli terrorists inside a Palestinian's home. These two butt buddies thought it would be cute to occupy a child's bed. They smoked a hookah that they Israeled and were arrogant enough and stupid enough to post it all over social media. Well, they've all been identified. The home they filmed themselves committing war crimes in is in Biet Hanun. And boy, did they get their comeuppance. If I could geolocate them, then so could Hamas. This is Dor Itshaki. Well, actually, this is. He got a nose job. I mean, who wouldn't with that schnout? Of all of them, he's the moron that left his Instagram open for comment. It appears their phones were taken away after my ex post got a million views. It also got another million views after Jackson Hinkle predictably Israeled it. What's fun is they didn't block the comments after they took his phone. So he has no way of shutting them off. So go ahead and enjoy posting your comments before they shut it down. You see, Instagram is basically a dating app. And so it's so easy to honey trap these IDF suckers. And then they all tag each other in it. So you can deduce the units. Let's walk through it. The douchebag next to Dork is Edan Picado from Ethiopia. Big nose Dork that got the nose job is from Morocco. You noticed none of these people are from Palestine, Israel. They're all from somewhere else. So they don't mind being terrorists for the Zio state. Now we know about Edan because he was interviewed by Israel's Channel 11 which I happen to catch. And oh, how glorious this is. Hey! <laughs> I <laughs> You can hear them cry and scream like an absolute bitch when there was a firefight. We have this article from Haaretz that says what happened. A flash grenade was thrown in followed by a large sounds. They couldn't communicate with each other. and They got shot up, 13 wounded. You can hear him yelling in Hebrew, My arm, my arm, I can't do this anymore. Wah. What a glorious few days. You're, you arrogantly steal someone's stuff and sleep in their kid's bed at a house you destroyed because your Air Force just bombed civilians. You post the crap on Instagram. Hamas finds you 13 wounded and you cry on national television. <laughs> Oh, 
Also involved in this is Salomon Bele, Omer Yamtov, an A-10 Turgeman, who's pictured here in a hospital bed, talking about wanting to meet some nine-year-old girl. The man also screams for Davir, which I believe is Davir Arviv, because he is in the unit and the unit photo. And I found this uh, drunken picture of him as well. This is probably part of why the intelligence failed so miserably on October 7th. All these people have Instagram and LinkedIn accounts and they don't get rid of them when they join the service. So you have a complete background on these people and it's very easy, as I said before, to honey trap some of these people. 13 of them were wounded in this attack. Uh, they've been pulled out of Biet Hanun since then probably going to the north since Israel decided to kick it off with Hezbollah and somebody did a terror attack in Iran with bombs stuffed in bags. I'd just like you to know that uh, at least one of the people that cuddled up in the bed, Mr. Dorco, shit himself. Uh, others were shot in the arms and legs um, and are hospitalized and the others are traumatized who did make it through. These people, the guy in the hospital was a dentist. Dor is a marketer. And they all have like normal jobs up in Tel Aviv and Jaffa or whatever. You know, so aside from, you know, playing butt sex in kids' beds and stealing people's stuff, they really don't know what the hell they're doing and have no job whatsoever being in a soldier's uniform prancing around with guns only thing they can do is kill civilians as soon as they get in a firefight they literally shit themselves and lay on the ground and cry that's not good for anybody the orev paratroopers had to come and rescue them by the way that's how they made it out of there there is no point in this war they're not after hamas if you really wanted to stop people from trying to kill you maybe just maybe you should stop occupying them and having a blockade and the house demolitions and the rest of it. Maybe it's your behavior that makes people hate your guts, not your ethnicity. No, no, no. That's okay. There are problems with Rumble. There are problems with the tower I'm using. The laptop, as a listener just suggested, probably needs a bunch of drivers and shit. You know, I used it last night. I put in all the crap that I knew of, but it probably is like the first time you use an app that needs that driver. It says, oh, we need this. But I cannot be downloading drivers in the middle of a fucking stream. You know, and I did not know that I needed them. And I'm hoping that's the problem because then it's fixable. God damn. And I, I wanted to do this a certain way. And I spent so much time. Cool. And all this shit. Doesn't matter. You can see the new cactus in the background right there. Lindsey Graham. New octopus right there. Ah! I'm so mad. I know where to start. You want to start with Gaza? You want to start with Epstein? Where you want to go? So much has happened. YSR4K says, Hi, Ryan. Could you tell me how many number of wars are currently going on in the world? Israel versus Palestine, Ukraine versus Russia. What is significant? That the newspaper will not talk about. There's more than that, first of all. Israel has attacked Lebanon and Syria and now probably attacked Iran and assassinated people in Iraq. So there's like soft wars in all those places. And of course, they're attacking Gaza and they're assassinating people in the West Bank. Ukraine's at war with the Donbass and Russia. And I guess Donbass is part of Russia now, but really they're fighting a NATO proxy war. Ukraine is a NATO crash test dummy to Israel, a phrase from Larry Johnson. They took the crash test dummy. They fought the wall, and the wall won. 
they're running out of personnel they fought gallantly bravely um tooth and nail so are the russians though and they're just outmanned uh russia has more manufacturing more artillery they're wiping them out there were some mercenaries from all over native countries that went there too so you can count that there's a civil war in sudan the arts i've i've covered this you know hamadi and his gang rapid security forces fighting against uh sudan this is not south sudan sudan this is just sudan like west sudan versus the northeast sudan you still have conflicts in burkina faso the congo uh more oh god with the drc's oh, when are they not you know it's sad what's going on there uh north korea just fired some artillery west uh the bbc acted like they fired it towards south korea and it just fell short of an island they didn't they fired it west off their coast you know, like parallel to the what's called the nll it's the northern limit line they did not cross the line and that's in response to the u.s and south korea doing war games uh there's some border tensions there with venezuela and their neighbors there's um I don't know off the top of Burma, also a huge conflict. That's been ongoing, as you know. What else? I, I don't think it's completely cooled down between Azerbaijan and Armenia either. So there's that. Um, yeah, and then you got your Cold Wars like Pakistan, India, so on. But the big one is in Ukraine. And, you know, percent-wise, the big one is in Gaza. So thanks for your question. But basically the newspaper, oh, and Yemen's involved in that too. Oh, Jesus, yeah, I can't believe I'd say that first thing. <laughs> They've shut down the shipping lanes. And no, they did not burn a British ship and they did not attack an American ship. That went all over Twitter. It was an Indian ship. Well, the boat was Norwegian, but it was Indian cargo. And they did set that on fire. It was not American. It was not British. But Twitter is dumb. And it's, you know what? And Varg pointed this out. Of all the social media apps, it's the most high IQ one. And it's as dumb as it gets. So imagine how bad Instagram, Facebook, it's just completely trash. But on X, okay, this Jeffrey Epstein, right? If I see one more fake list, I'm going to lose my mind even further. They keep putting out fake client lists. Or it's the black book. Or it's just flight logs, like cut and paste the flight logs. It's like a Jackson Hinkle alert. They don't care how wrong it is, just to get some, you know, get the clicks, get the clicks. Bunch of clout chasing dildos. I, I have this, look at this. This is written on my back. These people did it. Okay. We have this giant map, not only of over 50 of the people but also showing their relationships with each other. I don't know what else to do. I've also published the real client list and I could sit there and tell you how we know and go over the documentation. They keep doing this shit and they're, and now what they're doing is they're taking the most recent document dump, most of which we already had, but now it's like officially out. The judges, you know, put it on the internet for everybody, all the slow pose. They don't know how to go. And uh, people are taking snippets of it and then editing them and saying, like, look, they met with Jimmy Kimball. No, they didn't. He's not in that document. If you want to say he's an ass clown for some other reason, I'm not going to argue with you. But he's not in there. And neither is Tom Hanks. And the whole reason those two are there is because of a skit they did on TV about child pageantries and the QAnon retards who I swear to God are even lower than Alex Jones seized on that comedy sketch and go, look at these two. They're a bunch of pedos. I bet they're at the Island. Most telling was Alan Dershowitz. Let me tell you the Weasley way this guy behaves. Alan Dershowitz who raped girls on Wexner properties, which are in Ohio was according to flight logs and phone calls to the underage massage parlor, pretty active in, in the Florida scene. 
Well, I only went one time to this place, to the island. That's not the accusation. The, the accusation is you raping little girls and getting happy ending massages in Florida. You also are in the New York properties and you're in Wexter properties or de facto Epstein properties where you fiddled kids according to their victims that are accusing you of this in, uh, in Ohio. Like how the hell would they even know who you are? Then I, and I'd have the receipts. I have them all on the laptop. I'm sorry. Like I had all these documents ready to show you and I'll probably do it tomorrow anyway, but trust me, like y'all know, I'm not like, there it is. Dershowitz. Boom. You know, he's all over it. I'm like, why, what are you doing? What are you making? All I know you're his lawyer, but he isn't in trouble yet. So what are you doing? What are you making appointments for to do what exactly? And he admitted to getting massages and saying, well, he kept his underwear on. And he, I'll play those interviews. We're going to play all the Dershowitz. I have, again, everything's on here, which probably doesn't have the drivers updated or whatever. And I kind of don't want to do this show because I, I had, I did all this prep. I did like Bruce Wayne level prep to give you clips and documents. Varg can testify to it. All, last night I was up gathering stuff. We found, I found a big one, Mr. E.T. We'll just give the initials. Even worse than Jean-Luc Burnell, at least for that year. It's always J-E-G-M-E-T. And that's not Ed Tuttle. That's another E-T. But that's Jeffrey Epstein, Gizane Maxwell, and our little special guest, Mr. E-T. And so we did some sleuthing to figure out who that was. A lot of some other, I mean, David Copperfield was lighting their phone up too. <laughs> He's going to have a hard time making this one disappear. And there's some other minor, the first lady from the Virgin Islands. You had, uh, of course, Mr. Kraust, who later got caught um, groping girls at his university. And just, Kraust. <laughs> Plenty of calls from Glenn Dubin. Les Wexner. He's like, oh, I barely knew the guy. He ripped me off. Remember the Netflix special? Well, him and Abigail Wexner are calling back and forth. And again, I got the receipts. So they're all over that document. There's a lot of things that I want to pull together. We're going to do an Epstein show. I'm going to be talking to Solomon later anyway. Well, it's just I'm so disappointed right now about the technical crap because I sat there and got all this stuff to throw into the feed to show you. And... uh of course, they're not on this machine. Let me see if I can get. I think there's some from Vargani's personal chat that I might be able to re-download and get in here. I don't know, but um, what a pain, dude. Let's see. Well, here's one I put on Twitter. Let's see. Yeah, you can see. <laughs> yeah, Prince Andrew. They, <laughs> it's so much. Um. By the way, we're real close. If you want to hit that QR code, I'd much appreciate it. How did I? I forgot. <laughs> Design. Restreams, put a little snowman there. It threw me off. Here's one from the scientist. Yeah, I hope he understands the gravity of this situation. Four twenty-five p.m. Lawrence Krauss. He left the message in New York and wants to follow upon the, this conversation. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, Epstein would sponsor his event in uh, two thousand six. Come talk to people about gravity and science or whatever. He defended Epstein in two thousand eight, saying he oh, he's, he's all the girls around him are between nineteen and twenty-three. Do you not think it's weird, girls, plural, that you have a whole bunch of 19-year-olds and stuff hanging around you when you're like 60? Like you're not paying for that? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's just a... They just love math. You know, that's, that's what turned them on. As if that's okay. 
Oh, you're trying to act like you didn't see anyone underage. You're still openly seeing teenage prostitution, which is also illegal. Oh my gosh, these people, they're like, it's like Dershowitz defending child porn. He wrote articles defending child porn saying there were no victims. You know, you're just looking at it. You're not actually touching them. He's like, hey, dumbass. So, there's, how about the child? Aren't they harmed by it? Somebody stripped them nude and taking pictures or somebody's doing something to them. If you, that's what you're looking at, I guess it depends whether it's hard or soft core. It's just, they have no ability to put themselves in someone else's shoes. It's like that clip, the guy's interviewing these rapists from Africa somewhere. And they go, did you ever think about the consequences? And they're like, yeah, yeah, we could get STDs. They're like, no, for the girl. Uh, yeah, I guess she could get pregnant. And like, no, no, no. What about like her not wanting to be raped? And they just sat there like, what? The trauma you caused, you know, by raping them mentally. Huh? <laughs> would you want someone to rape you in the ass? How would you feel? No. Oh, okay. So do you really, you can't like put yourself and imagine you're the other person and how they would feel. That seems to be what all these people lack. Everything, they're so self-centered that it doesn't even register in their head that what about them? How about those families in Gaza when you drop an apartment on their kids and they're pulling out, you know, squished little body parts? How do they feel? But 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 Hamas attacked. I feel humiliated. And I I I I I, I yeah. Did that kid attack you? The kids, the babies you squashed with the apartment that you bombed that did not have Hamas in it. What did they do? They they didn't do anything. And oh yeah, Hamas attacked you. I wonder why. Did you build a wall around a population with machine guns pointed at it and institute a blockade where you have cyclical, cyclical times where you go and mow the lawn and murder civilians and blow up homes and schools and hospitals and churches and mosques and everything else? Maybe that's why they broke out of the wall and attacked you. Huh. Maybe it's your own behavior. Nah, it's just anti-Semitism, of course, you know. Unreal, these fucking people. Rumble has frozen. Hooray. Okay, I am... <laughs> what is this? Rumble froze. Did you hear anything I just said? I hope so. I, God damn. Uh, somebody in chat... Test testing. Did you hear what I, my rant? I, why am I doing this? If this doesn't go through, I'm so fucking mad. <laughs> we got to go over Nasrallah's speech. I want to tell you what I think happened and why they bombed Iran. So many Gaza updates. These assholes are committing war crimes and sticking it on Instagram. Yeah, South Africa is taking Israel to its international court of justice. <sighs> More names, most of the names. Again, the notebooks here. You know what? I think I have these. Most of them, we've named them anyway. Here is the closest thing I have on hand, but like right there in the back of the shirt. Okay. We know about all of these and some. I don't know how big that shows, but there they are. Okay, a lot of overlap, but there were there were at least two, two names and some initials, which I, you can pretty much guess at by comparing with a black book and seeing where they lived, where they flew from and stuff, and nail that down with, with a high degree of certainty. So you can add some more names. What also came from the documents, though, was the frequency of how many times these people were scheduled. Is so-and-so working today? Can Julia work? Hey, Nadia, da 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 Sarah Kellen, all like people are on the map, but now boom, it's in the document. The groomers, the rest of it. They so many times. Just Staley, Copperfield, these guys came so many times. And that was not a pun. The Dubins, you know, they're all over it. 
He's probably number four in financing Epstein. I mean, it's Wexner, number one. Two is Leon Black and Bronfman. They're about the same. And then Dubin. They're all billionaires. And they're, <laughs> Let me say that again. Wexner. Bronfman. <laughs> Black. And Dubin. Huh. Ahud Barak. Cousin. Daphne Barak, the one that drugged up Britney Spears and doing all the Holly weird crap with Weinstein and da, 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 da. She got rolled into this mess. And I can't believe I knew them separately and they have the same last name. And I never thought oh, <laughs> they're in the same family. Of course, Epstein and Wexner put a lot.